Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel Master Mojo Ash. In this video I will show you top 10 best ice types Pokemon in Pokemon anime. Ice types may not get much time to shine in the anime, but these 10 Pokemon make the most of their limited appearances. Throughout the entire Pokemon series, ice types aren't given the best representation compared to other types. This is perhaps due in part to Ash only owning two ice types over the course of his whole Pokemon journey, meaning that they haven't necessarily had a fair opportunity to showcase their skills and strengths. Despite this, there are still a number of strong showings from ice types in the anime, from those belonging to gym leaders and other trainers to the two that Ash owned and used. So please be sure to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. Let's start the video. Number 10. Bardic. Bardic is a ferocious and powerful polar bear Pokemon. Bardic gets two opportunities to shine in the anime, specifically in Unova under the ownership of both Iceris City gym leader Bryson and Iris's rival Georgia, who likes to defeat dragon types. Georgia's Bardic sweeps Iris in their first battle, defeating Ixu and Excadrill and then drawing with Excadrill the second time around. Bryson's Bardic is just as powerful, able to defeat Ash's Pignite before eventually being defeated by Ash's Krikorok and some clever strategic thinking on Ash's part. Number 9. The Legendary Bird Articuno. The Legendary Bird Articuno gives a good showing with Nolan. As one of the three legendary birds from the original generation, Articuno has appeared a few times without making an especially huge impact. However, as a part of a trio with Malters and Zapdos, it can be majestic but also formidable and mysterious. Ash even comes across a trainer who owns one, Nolan. However, due to the obvious type disadvantage, it loses to Ash's Trizard, despite putting up a good fight. Trizard learning overheat and utilizing a devastating seismic toss is too much for the legendary ice type to handle. Number 8. Cloyster. In Elite 4 members Cloyster was too tough for Pikachu. Known as Lorelei in the Pokemon games but Prima in the anime dub, this trainer is an ice type user and Elite 4 member. Ash challenges Prima after finding out how strong she is, but is ultimately humbled by the superior trainer and her cloister. Prima's cloister utilizes Withdraw and Reflect to counter and essentially nullify Ash's Pikachu's attacks, but is equally as capable when going on the offensive, with it using a creative or aura beam, takedown combination to defeat Pikachu's spirited effort. As one of the few original ice types from Generation I, it's a wonder why no other trainers use Cloyster to the best of its ability, especially after seeing how strong it could be under the tutelage of Prima. Number 7. Lepris. Lepris is one of Ash's many Pokemon with somewhat wasted potential. Lepris is another impressive ice type Pokemon that arguably deserves more spotlight in the anime. Ash saves and captures one during his Orange Islands adventures, but mainly uses it as a mode of transport or for competing in non-battle challenges. The two main times that Ash uses Lepris in battle, it defeats Captain Crux and Recruel and scores a double knockout against Drake's Ganger in the Orange League. Ash releasing his Lepris makes sense when considering it's a creature that needs its own kind to survive, but it was also a wasted opportunity. Number 6. Abomino. Abomino is a must-have for any ice-type gym leader. Abomino has two major performances that showcase its strength and power, under the ownership of Snope and gym leader Candace and Sinaw and Snowbell gym leader Walfurk and Kalos. Candace's Abomino turns the tide of battle by defeating Ash's Grottle and Staraptor before falling to Ash's Chimtr, and Walfurk defeats Ash's Talonflame, but despite utilizing Mega Evolution, it falls to Ash's Greninja. Abomino is a huge and powerful ice, grass dual type which can be handy in battle, as long as it avoids fire types. Number 5. Regis. Regis's impressive move set can counter its weaknesses. Regis is more than just a legendary Pokemon and intimidating tree guardian in Lucario and the Mystery of Mew. There's even one under the command of a trainer called Brandon at the Battle Frontier. 
In its two main appearances, Brandon's Regis uses an impressively varied pool of moves including Blizzard, Ice Beam, Focus Punch, Zap Cannon, Hyper Beam, and Rest. It proves to be a tough obstacle for Ash's Pikachu when they face off, but it's ultimately an obstacle that Pikachu manages to pass. However, when Brandon reappears in Diamond and Pearl and faces Paul, his Regis easily defeats Paul's Lyran. Number 4. Walrin. Walrin can use ice and water to its advantage in battle. At the Evergrande Conference in Hoenn, Walrin is promising strategic trainer Katie's ace and strongest Pokemon. It utilizes an effective hit and run tactic, wearing out its opponents bit by bit all while constantly returning to the water to take cover. It defeats Asha's prized Swellow and Corfish before Ash understands what he needs to do and has his Gravel trick Walrin into freezing the battlefield, giving it nowhere to retreat to. This leads to its eventual defeat and allows Ash to progress to the next round. Number 3. Weevil. Weevil is a tenacious battler and loyal partner. Weevil is shown in action a number of times under the ownership of multiple trainers, from Kid Summers and Lucario in the mystery of Muta Mabel and Alan and Kalos and more prominently with Paul and Diamond and Pearl. While Paul's Weevil was defeated quickly by Cynthia's intimidating Garkamp and Ash's Staraptor, Alan's Weevil proved to be more of a difficult opponent for Ash to overcome at the Lumios conference in X and Y with it knocking out Ash's Noyavern before being defeated by a revenge-driven Halucha. Number 2. Welfric. Welfric's Avalug initially decimated Ash's team. Avalug is only given one real showing split into two battles in the anime, under the ownership of Snowbell gym leader Welfric. In his first battle with Ash, Welfric has his Abomino activate Hail which proves useful when Avalug is called upon as the large iceberg Pokemon regains health in Hail thanks to the Ice Body ability. Avalug proceeds to annihilate Ash's Hawlucha, Talonflame, and Greninja, resulting in an absolute defeat for Ash. The rematch sees Avalug defeat Ash's Pikachu before eventually falling to his Talonflame. Number 1. Gully. Ash's Gully was one of his aces in Hoenn. Ash's Gully is one of the most overlooked and underappreciated members of his Hoenn team, helping to win several crucial bouts and knock out some formidable foes at the Evergrande Conference. A unique use of double team and a pinball strategy helped Gully to overcome a disadvantage to defeat Clark's Charizard. It also defeated Katie's dog trio before being taken down by her mystery vs destiny bond after it had already knocked out the ghost type Pokemon. Gully defeated Morrison's Metang and eliminated Tyson's powerful Septil by sacrificing itself in a double knockout. Gully was such a useful member of Ash's Pokemon League team that he no doubt wished that he had caught it sooner. If you like this video then please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. For other Pokemon videos please visit our channel page.